Questions on offense, a young defense, turnovers in the first half, a fake punt, a thrilling come from behind win. LSU fans are all used to this narrative, and it was the same script Saturday night here in NRG Stadium. We're a uh, blue collar team that can fight like hell and uh, scrap you. So uh, this is one of those times. Part one of LSU's storybook 28 to 24 win against Wisconsin began with struggle. Underwhelming run defense put the Tigers in a 24 to 7 hole early in the second half. The opening drive, they scored, right? And I said, oh, that was, that was I did a hell of a job last time. I think the, the point was made that it's time. Junior cornerback Jalen Mills in the defense answered. Everybody got with it, you know. Everybody played, everybody played like it was their last. In the second half, when you do that, you're going to be a great defense. I told each other it's us 11, you know, whether it's special team, defense, or offense. Whoever's on the field has to make a play for the team. Mills' interception in the fourth quarter was the climax of LSU's performance Saturday night. Looking to redeem his summer suspension from the team, just looking to strap on an LSU helmet again. It was Mills who led the Tiger ambush on Saturday. Him being separated from the team and us not communicating with him um, really affected him. Me just being out the whole time, it just it made me more hungry and it just built up a fire in me. You know, and I came out and played for my defense. As so often seen in the epic that is LSU football, the defense inspired a streak of 21 unanswered Tiger points. Well, we have a saying, um, fourth quarter is our quarter. Regardless of the score, regardless of who we're playing, and to the clock says zero. You know, we're always going to fight our hard and we're going to play like Tigers. A seesaw of emotions and unexplainable victories are typical to LSU football tales. What will this close win mean for LSU toward the end of the season? Well, that part of the story has yet to be written. Reporting from Houston, Taylor Curette, Tiger TV Sports.